Okay, when printing an 11 by 17 copy of your abstract shape portrait, you got to make sure we first pick the proper printer. Uh, my computer defaulted to the color draft, which can't print that large, so I need to make sure I choose the color high quality. And then from there, I have to hit the setup button in the bottom left corner and continue. And then I have to go to preferences. It added a couple of extra wrinkles for us. But once you get there, you're going to change your paper size from letter to 11 by 17, the paper source to tray 2, and everything else will take care of itself. So just click the OK, hit that print button, and it's going to update what you have. Then you want to tell it fit to page, so it'll scale it up. Media size, Ooh, looks like we got to make that 11 by 17. Come on, refresh. Do not scale, fit to page. That doesn't look correct. <laughs> uh, let's see, custom scale. It's showing the 11 by 17, but there's a weird box. Uh, okay, turning off auto rotate seems to make it want to do what it needs to do. Now I'm going to play with my percentages. Instead of 100, let me try 145 and hit the tab key. Alright, and now I have to choose whatever composition I think looks best. I'm going to press my up arrows to scale it up even more. Okay, if you want it to go horizontally, you can click that button and then you have that to play with. And I'm going to go with a vertical print. Just try to avoid having anything important cut off with white. And from here, I can hit the print button and it should come out nice and big. Now your numbers will vary when you hit the scale button. Remember, in Illustrator, you have to go into the setup to adjust your media size and make sure it's going to draw from the good, high-quality paper we have in tray 2 of the high-quality printer.